Hello, it's Laura here with an interactive, clean and simple Christmas card for you today. It features the cute girl from the Pure Innocence Bright Holiday set. When we move the tab back and forth, she does a fun little dance dressed as a Christmas tree. Let's start by stamping the image on a 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inch panel of printer paper. We're making a little mask so that we can transfer only part of the image to our real panel and I'm using a pair of scissors to cut a hole where the legs are. Now we can slip a same sized panel of Copic friendly paper under our homemade mask, hold both in place with magnets, ink the stamp again and transfer only the legs. This method is awesome for partially stamping a sediment if you don't want to cut your stamps. Let's stamp that for a second time and after that we need to draw the missing part first with a pencil and then with a black multi-liner pen. While I have my misty out I'm also gonna stamp the sediment onto the panel. No fancy embossing or anything just two layers of extreme black hybrid ink and we're done. Okay, I've already colored the ribbed tights and shoes and off camera I also colored the rest of the image which I then die cut and partially fussy cut to get rid of the baubles. You could leave them if you want to or instead add round beads hanging from black thread so that they would dangle and move with the girl. You could even substitute them with tiny jingle bells to add an element of sound to this interactive card. After tracing the girl onto my panel, I'm using a one inch circle as a template so that I can draw a little curve about half an inch from the crotch. I'm just adding these small perpendicular lines to the ends and now we can use a craft knife to carefully cut a little notch for our mechanism. Off camera I die cut the pull tab and one of the linkages from the twist and turn interactive dynamics out of smooth white cardstock twice and stacked them to make them sturdy. I also stamped two triangles from the interactive label set on the pull tab. Now we can insert the linkage through the notch and attach it to the pull tab on the back of the panel. But first we need to grab our A2 card base, which I've covered with a piece of patterned paper, to figure out how much of the pull tab has to stick out. We want the girl to swing both sides, so we do need it to stick out a little bit further than a regular pull tab. Mine protrudes about half an inch from the card base. Okay, I'm just gonna hold the pull tab in place with some washi tape and flip the panel over. Let's push the linkage a little bit lower because we need to punch a hole in our panel for the mini brad. We also need to trim our pull tab and punch a new hole in it about a quarter of an inch to the right of that existing hole. I used a pencil to mark all these changes and then I thought it could be a good idea to trace around the pull tab just in case before I peel off the tape. And now I'm going to grab my scissors to cut the pull tab. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. I'll trim it a little bit more in a moment. Next I'm using a sixteenth of an inch hole punch to make the two holes. If you don't have one, a piercing tool or even a thick sewing needle will work perfectly. Before moving on, I need to erase the pencil marks from the panel. And now we are ready to assemble everything. Let's start by attaching the linkage to that hole in the panel with a mini brad. We don't want the movement to be too exaggerated, so we'll limit it in a moment. Let's leave the linkage pointing straight up so that we can trim the pull tab a little bit more. Mine ended up being about three and a half inches long. Next we're going to add foam tape in strategic places to limit the movements. Now that we've pushed it as far as we want it to go, let's mark the spot with a pencil. Off camera I adhered a bunch of foam tape to the back of the panel and here I'm adding a strip to the girl's upper body. Next I'm moving the pull tab back and forth to figure out where to add the second stop. 
Okay, now I'm holding the pull tab in place with my fingers and flipping the panel over to add the last strip of foam tape. And when that's done, we can hold the pull tab still with a piece of tape, peel off the backing paper and adhere the panel to our card base. You've seen me doing this many times before, and as always, I edited out my big head. Anyway, now we can try out the mechanism and adhere the girl's upper body to our linkage. I like to get rid of the extra stickiness in case I need to peel off the image, but this time there was no need for that. Okay, let's try it out. This is looking good, so we can move on to the final touches. I had large red enamel stars in my stash, but didn't have any small ones in the right shade, so I colored a couple of them with a green Copic marker. They turned out really nice. Of course, I couldn't find my tweezers, so I just used a needle to place all of the stars onto the panel. And here are some pictures of the finished card. I hope you enjoyed my clean and simple dancing girl card tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Hasta la próxima.